Okay. <laughs> Hello, we're talking about paraffin now. Um, so what I'm going to do, we both have already washed our hands. Um, excellent job. Um, and that would be with soap and water and not with Purell. That wouldn't work, okay? So I'm going to next inspect the skin. Okay, this knuckle's a little bigger, but nothing else. Okay, I looked at range of motion, supination, pronation, flexion, extension, and ulnar and radial deviation. Okay, um, so um, what's my contraindication list for paraffin? Open, open, open wound. What else? Malignancy. Malignancy, that would definitely count. No electro thing, so that's okay. I have to check sensation. Um, I inspected the skin already. Um, so, do you feel me touching you here? Yeah. If I had the hot and the cold, that would really be best though. So I would take out the hot and the cold, see if they could tell the difference between the two of them. That would really be best because I'm putting them into something that's hot, okay? Um, I would also have the temperature here, which would tell me the temperature of the paraffin. And every clinic you're at should have a, the temperature should be between these two numbers. So as the aid, you're responsible for that, I'm sure. Depending if you work a hospital, you would have a log where you would write down the temperature each day and then what the intervention is. It might be um, to call maintenance to come look at it if it's too hot or too cold. Okay, so I checked sensation, I looked at the skin, I explained the indications. Okay, so we're gonna do this because you have pain throughout your hand and your joints. Um, because of the rheumatoid arthritis, um, what happens is there's inflammation in the joints and that can lead to pain. Um, Paraffin is a very nice pain management strategy for this. So we're gonna try this in clinic here to see if you like this. Um, and then if it does, um, we'll talk about some different websites where you could consider ordering something for home use where we, you would use that on a regular basis. Um, do you have any questions? Okay, so what you're gonna go is without touching the sides, keeping your hand open, you're gonna put it in, hold it there a second, and then pick it up. The first dip is gonna seem the hottest. Okay? And then each one you do progressively will seem less hot because you have the layers of, uh, of wax there. After that, this is a two-person job. We need someone with that pink towel will be perfect because I'm going to cover her with this and then he's going to cover it with that. Okay? So why don't you do your dips here? Eight to ten. Good. Take it One. Two. <coughs> Three, four, four it's like my hand no in the one winter. Just come in here to make soft hands. The ashiness. <laughs> hmm? No, in the wind, in the window. Okay, right no, in the middle. No, flammy on this side, ashy on okay, this side. Okay, wrap, wrap. I really feel like an wrap. esthetician. Good. Towel. Sit down, leave it up there, and she's all good on her phone or whatever she wants to do for the next 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> the top temperature was now, so it's not like the hot pack that increases on the body for up to 10 minutes. It's not that. Um, the hottest was when she put it in there for the first time. Each that progressively, it gets a little less hot. Okay? So our chance of burning because of that is minimal, unless it was too hot in the beginning. And again, who would you choose paraffin? Is, is it your clinical personal choice or is it based on like arthritis? What population? Hand pain, multiple joints, I think paraffin. Okay. That's my default position. Okay. If it's a wrist sprain or something more specific, I might do a hot pack. Um, I thought there was another question. No? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, do you ever wrap it with a hot pack? I'm just wondering because I've seen that done. That's how you've seen that. I'm okay with that. Makes sense. Not opposed. The layers would still apply though. Like how many layers had to be present if you did the hot Yeah, pack? definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's paraffin.